Hello and welcome! Now in this video I will be finding my way around the incognito board, testing it and seeing all what it can do. If you didn't watch the last video where I installed the incognito board into the Atari 800, then I highly recommend watching that also to get to know the hardware side of it all. I'm fairly new to the Atari 8-bit world, so rather than being a guide or tutorial, this video will be my journey in discovering and learning all about it. Hopefully others will learn from what I discover and the little mistakes I make. PCBWay have a big end of year sale going on which starts from the 2nd to the 31st of December, including a sale for HDI and Flex PCBs, which have up to 15% off. There's a free Christmas cash coupon, along with seven kinds of cash coupons. There will be a lucky draw for regular customers with gifts, Amazon gift cards and discount coupons. And lastly, there will be a Christmas project competition. There will be prizes such as swag bags, Amazon gift cards and free costs for project prototyping. Lots going on this month, so do check out the PCBA website. Links in the description below. Now, one thing I didn't show you last time is what the, where the LED is and, you know, how it looks. So I'll turn it on now. You can see it there. Lighting up. And to be honest, that's enough for me. I'm happy just seeing a bit of a status there. And you can, you know, see it easily, so yeah. Now don't get me wrong, I would have liked to have this one, this light here, as the as a as already changed button. Actually I'm surprised that this is not a power button. When this first arrived I was trying to press it. So I didn't I don't know why they didn't think of doing this like a power button with a LED in there. Okay, first things first, let's turn this on and go into the BIOS. I did not go into the BIOS because you're supposed to press the Atari key. <laughs> okay, right. Now then, let's see what we have here. The hardware, it's in Excel XE mod, which you can change it to Colleen. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm sure somebody who knows Atari more will explain it in the comments. But yeah, Excel XE mod is what I'm gonna choose. Uh, you can choose the system RAM. That's what I said the last time uh, when I was installing the incognito that you do not need your old RAM and ROM cartridges anymore. So it's all on the incognito board itself. So this system is no longer an 800 as a ROM, it's an XL and XE system. So it comes with 64K here as standard and XL, but you can you know, have an upgrade uh, 320K Rumble or you can go into 576K. Uh, or just have the one meg Rambo, which is what I'm gonna you know, keep it as. So the OS ROM, you can choose between stock, uh, XLXE, you can have Altera, you can have QMEG OS, you can have Diagnostic OS, stock XLXE OS. Let's go to Diagnostic and just see not what that is, but let's just try it. You have Spartadox, Spartadox, <laughs> get system day. Then you have date time, controllers 3 and 4, disable, enable if you want, it's up to you. Um, PBI BIOS, I think that's the hard disks and stuff, I guess. Um, okay, just leave that there for now. SIO and CIO drivers. I guess this is for when, I don't know, using the SIO port for, I really I'm kind of just like exploring this right now. Menu. Oh, these are just settings, okay. Uh, Atari menu, this uh, call boot disabled. Might actually enable that, but anyway. Uh, boot, joystick for one. Okay, color. Oh, okay. This is good for me because I struggle with white text on black background, so let's go through these and see. Oh, I like this one. But even better. Give this a warm color since it's um, in the BIOS, the BIOS menu itself. And also it's cold at this time of year, so I'll put a warm color on here, so it kind of feels more cozy. <laughs> Sound enabled, screens are enabled, okay. Okay, so diagnostic. Okay, so we just saw the diagnostic. Let's just change this to like the stock. So the contents of this comeback flashcard are courtesy of a viewer who has been following this series and also the 7200, uh, not 7200, 7800 series uh, very keenly, Andy. 
So thanks so much Andy for sending me the files on this. All I needed to do was just do a straight copy to a compact flashcard that was formatted FAT32. And the folders just appear. Because after goofing around in the BIOS, for now let's um, restart it again. Press L to go into the loader screen. Which is nice and dull here. <laughs> So let's kind of change the color to this. The bias is a warm color, a red. Let's make this a cooler color. The one which I liked was... It's like a tealy towards... slightly more towards green, but it's a teal sort of color which I really like. Right, so... Now then. You can use the joystick to control. So we have cartridges. All the cartridges and go into the sets. Okay, sets, discs. Okay, it's not displaying discs either. Because I remember copying, and all these folders had. Okay, I'm starting to figure what could be the issue here. Okay, let's go back into the BIOS, and I think it's to do with this. This PBI BIOS enabled. Hard disk needs to be save changes and okay. L, let's check now. Discs, we have discs. Yeah, we have discs now. So, what you need to do is um, go in there and the PBI BIOS activate that and activate the hard drive. Um, I'm not sure if the hard drive or not, but I'm as I said, um, I don't know this too well. Um, if anyone knows any better settings, please let me know down in the comments below. From what I've just found out, then yeah. Okay, so let's go Atari 800 Homesoft Collection. There's this one game I know which has good music called Flowers Mania. There you go, Flowers Mania, XCX. So this is like a columns type of game. Yeah. Darn it. Not paying attention. But you don't have to make clean rows, so you can just like nice music. I like the music on this. I need to record some pokey tracks for my channel! Oh, okay. So it works a bit different than columns. Digging the music. It's kind of like a relaxing game, somewhat. Just, just, to, just to listen to the music. <laughs> By the way, in the BIOS, what you can do is um, boot to loader if you want. Enabled. So instead of you know having to press L every single time, it you know get the BIOS screen comes up. You can just like um, yeah, it'll just load, <laughs> it'll load into the. Loader. Four words try to get out at the same freaking time. <laughs> oh, I forget. You're gonna use um, the cartridge or something like that, or any other cartridge just in there, or any other means of um, SD, SIO to SD, which I'm not sure why you would use, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Then you'll have to kind of like get this, set you change the setting again to disabled. And so it'll just go straight into the loader each time. So it goes straight into the. Um, Loader here. You have to keep giving yourself a heart attack just to kind of jump to the keyboard before it ends. <laughs> like I've been faffing around with this thing for like over two hours now. I have to say, I have to advise uh, one thing, and that's to. Oh, I'm faffing around with games and trying to get them to work and stuff. There's a lot that you have to do to get games to work sometimes. Uh, certain games, I guess. But what I highly recommend is, um, you know, with so much that's here, just to make yourself a favorites folder, take note of all the games, then go through it all. Take note of all the games that you like and that you know you're gonna play for you know, a while, and then just like put all your favorites in one folder. It just saves a lot of headache and a lot of time.
<laughs> and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let's look at New Games Hacks Proto. Oops. Games Hacks. Ooh, bomb jack. Let's... Okay, well, whatever it is, you didn't like it. Oh, you did like it. Okay. Just like on the Commodore 64. <laughs> It looks kind of nice. Nicer than the C64 one, actually. Oh, freak sick. Oh, for goodness sake. This is actually harder. I went through a few levels with that one, but this one's... Stupid thing, move. No! No! Oh, for freak's sake. Nice jar magnetic fields rendition. Oh, for freak's sake. No! Stupid bird! Whatever you are, vulture. Fine, let's just go to the next game. <laughs> hey, Neelix. <laughs> okay, now I'm starting to have fun with this. Now that games are starting to work, <laughs> and I click on them. Death chase. That's the the thingy one, spectrum one. Let's try it. Doesn't seem to work. Something I would. Demonic Miner. Okay. So now this is Spectrum. Oh, this is a Spectrum game. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> Sounds much nicer on this. Freak's sake. Ah. Did you collect everything? God, this is frustrating. It's like spe definitely a spectrum type game, you know, the typical spectrum game. But the thing is, they're, they seem simple to see, but they're quite freak off. It's like Flappy Bird style challenging type of games. <laughs> they make you spend hours on them. <laughs> It's been good, a good few hours on that, trying to freaking come on. Oh, for freak's sake! <laughs> nice port, though. Loving the music on it. Actually, kind of gives a feeling of this time of year, you know, when it gets dark quick and this music always has. Ah! Freak's sake! I'm gonna move on. <laughs> but nice. I kind of feel like wanting to play it more, but I'm having to pull myself away from these games because I'm not gonna spend ages on them. I need to show you the settings just before you go any further. Just so you know what settings I have in the BIOS. So I'll just go through them once again. Right, so memory, as you can see, these are all the settings. Then you have no system there. This. If you recommend any settings that I change, uh, those of you who you know, know what, what you're doing. 
<laughs> with this, with the Atari 8-bit and have got experience on this, let me know for the best results on, you know, getting games working. Okay, that's just, uh, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to show you the settings, so I'll just hold and exit. You do definitely know what's gonna happen after this. I'm not gonna go away and edit this video. I'm gonna go away and play these games. <laughs> and you'll get your video late. I'm sorry. If the video's late, this is the reason why. <laughs> oh, why doesn't Death Chase work? I was hoping it would work. E type. figuring this is an R-type thing, or maybe I'm wrong. No, it's not. Definitely not an R-type thing. <laughs> it's e -type. Uh, okay, gears are not automatic. Freak's sake. Tedious. Oh, this is too frustrating to play. One stupid crash and you have to do all the freaking gears again. <laughs> so you just go to the next game. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> I keep like diving for the L button, but it's fine. It loads automatically. <laughs> and yes, me going, ah, I was diving to <laughs> the freaking L button. All right. Where's the uh, fair light? I'm thinking that music. I think you know which one. And that's all I'm loading it for. I don't know how to play Fairlight. Yay! <laughs> okay, nice rendition of this tune. Nice rendition. I play the game because I've no, I've never known how to play this. I just like the music. <laughs> I remember trying to play this in Spectrum once, but I just had no freaking idea. music. Go away! Oh my god, I'm good doing the same things as back then. <laughs> this guy is just chasing me! I don't know what to do after this! <laughs> you kind of want to keep going just for the music? <laughs> okay, do I pick this up? How do I do it? Oh, screwing tornado. Bubble. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, but okay. Another bubble, let's pick it up. Let's go here. Okay, clearly no way. Let's try Galaxian. It's been bugging me to try it. Not see this. Galaxy in two thousand nine, and it's relying on farts because it's using the internal speaker of the um, it's an Atari eight hundred. For those of you curious, to 
to know where the Atari 800 butt is. It's just right there. I'm afraid to put my hand there. Can you stop playing violins? It's not your food time yet. What's this? Buzz call. Okay, it looks good. Buskonian. Sounds like um, Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters music. Downloads there's blast.com. And it's this. Let's start at the beginning. So it's very 2600 like. As you can see, it's quite a basic game here. I think it's official, I'm not sure. feel Amiga like at all, does it? <laughs> right, so here is the Sorry Blast. Music is very nice. As you can see it's quite a It's not easy, even on the easy level. Recognize the tune? Because I do. I'm asking you, Commodore users. Okay, this is impressive. This game is definitely going to my favorites. Memory game, the 80s one. Ooh, side shooter as well. Okay. This game is one of my favorites. It's become one of my favorites. I'm getting menace flashbacks. Right, we're gonna have to move on to the next game or else I'm just gonna be here for ages. <laughs> 
So those of you who watched the second part of this series where I was exploring other means of storage will have known that I have one of these. And if you haven't watched any of the earlier videos, you're missing out on quite a bit, so I suggest you take a little peek at them. <laughs> anyway, so this cartridge for me, you know, it hasn't gone to waste. I mean, I also refused to kind of give it up because it was not easy to find at the time. Um, back when, you know, I got this and I first got this. It was about a year and a half, almost two years ago when I got this 800 and, um, you know, later got the SI to SD and got this. Now, these new uh, storage devices and solutions seem to have propped up this summer only. So I've been, you know, out of the loop doing other projects and missed out. So, you know, a lot of these are probably like easier available than it is now. You have the SIDE and, you know, other things, uh, other solutions. But anyway, that aside. You may sometimes have, you know, since this uh, incognito board only takes um, CF cards. Now, just like in my case, you may have a friend who's giving you an SD card full of, you know, select stuff that you, you know, that you want to just try out before copying into your you know, CF card or maybe this other file formats that the incognito does not support. Actually, I'm not exactly sure what file formats it supports, you know, if it supports everything or not. Um, I haven't been able to run cassette images on it. But what I found myself doing is, despite having the incognito board in there, I just put this in there and, you know, you can run them side by side. And you can, you can just put whatever SD card in here. Okay, so after putting the cartridge in, uh, obviously if you just let it load here, it's going to go into the side, uh, the side or SIDE loader. <laughs> side loader, I guess. What? You goof. So it's not going to access the cartridge, so just uh, you're going to have to disable boot loader, disable that, and exit. And it'll go st straight into the ultimate cartridge. When I first got the SI to SD, I played Snapper. Mm -hmm. Freak's sake. I've been playing this for ages. I'm still not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. You do run out of time. Ah! thing is, you can just go into one of those things when you collect anything, so I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do! Do be tight. Ah! No! No! You can't stop it once it does that. It's one of those where you... Oh, okay. Oh, for freak's sake. We got some sort of ring or whatever it was. You're a L. Okay, let's go back and um, go to my folder that the stuff I downloaded. Let's place a couple of things from there. Um, far away. Far away. X S E X E X X E X files are basically executable files. A T R files are the disk files. I don't know what dot com files are. Please tell me if you know. Oops! Stop being frail. Okay, so... Okay, wow. The controls you have to get used to a bit. Okay, that's quite an impressive game. And this is not... it doesn't require like an upgrade or anything. It's as in like a memory upgrade. It's just like an Atari. I don't think so at least anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. This thing, you know, it's kind of fun exploring new systems, exploring, uh, that's the beauty about it. Exploring new systems, what they can do, everything, and a lot of things, you know, I don't know, so you guys need to kind of tell me and fill me in, it's, it's the part of the fun.
this music? That is amazing. Okay, I'm blown away. <laughs> this is why Pokey is amongst one of my favorite uh, sound chips. Tunes like this. Sorry, ate it. Okay, I really get I need to get this funky track. at these you sort of get a newfound love for the Atari 8 but <laughs> I certainly have at least anyway. Okay that was far away. Let's have a look at another one. What's Oakley.com? Oh it's that. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Assembloids, roll trace. Cyrus, Death Chase X. Oh, let's try the Death Chase from here. Okay, so E. Oh, Death Chase works from this disc. Okay, let's try this. Okay, got music and everything. Because I've always played the Death Chase on um, the Spectrum 16K game. Day of Patrol. So dark. Oh my god, it's so fast. Okay, it's so dark. This is Day Patrol? It's very dark. It basically feels like exactly the same game. Except it's just got music on it. Brightness up, please. Okay, it's just basically the exact same version as the version of the spectrum, yeah? But it's got... It's just got music in the background and less colors, which is odd. Okay, let's see what Night Patrol is. If that was Day Patrol, Night Patrol is just negative. <laughs> what am I doing? This is crazy! Okay, I prefer the original Death Chase. <laughs> For freak's sake. Music is nice, though. Creators of these mu these tracks, you are what entering sector two. Okay. 
Okay, someone's just basically done a straight port of the game and added some bells and whistles. Nice music, though. Ah! Oh, freak! <laughs> and I moved the trees like, oh, la 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 la. It's like matchsticks. <laughs> it's too fast. It's making me. I'm not used to death just being this freaking fast. How am I doing this so well? I don't know. You freak. <laughs> the, the crash comes through the freaking. The, the Atari but Oh, for freak's sake. Uh, the internal speaker. I'm gonna call it a butt now after that stupid game which kept tooting at me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move on because for some reason, even though that was like ridiculously fast. I've been playing this for ages, <laughs> but at least it works here, that test, and, and I got to see what it was. Okay, so I think the last thing on here now is a demo called Numen. Okay, wow. This requires one megabyte, but it's still not accelerated, it's still like, you know, the usual Atari, just, you know, more RAM, that's all. Nice. Okay, wow. This gave me another world sort of feeling, the another world intro. That kind of a vibe. Okay, wow. Demos are amazing. Do you know before when I said Commodore 64 gives me like vibe like Amiga-ish vibes for some reason? Now definitely I have to say Atari 8-bit more so. It feels like, you know, baby Amiga. <laughs> you know, 8-bit Amiga. And I think it's definitely more accurate calling it this, especially with stuff like this. Sort of feels very Amiga-like now. It kind of feels good that I've got a baby Amiga, <laughs> an eight-bit Amiga. Getting like Robocop 3 vibes. Wow.
that's impressive. It's making me want to go and search for more demos on this. Like this. Well, one megabyte demos. Any of you know any good ones? Like this? Please comment below. My favorite thing, like rotating vectors and stuff like this. Oh, I love demos. I have quite a weakness for ve vector ships for some reason. I think it gives me the early Amiga demo sort of feeling. So in conclusion, yes, I'm very happy that I got the incognito board. Under the creator of the incognito board who did comment on the last video, once again, thank you so much. <laughs> it's like my Atari 800 has got a new lease of life and I'm going to be using it way more. <laughs> Many thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel, especially to my supporters who deserve an extra special thank you. Electronscape, Rich Garbett, Axel Dominator, Starlight Minako, Kamal Dag, Steven Leary, and Chris Sablinski. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels. <laughs> <laughs>